Well, let's bring in Florida Congressman Matt Gates. Matt, uh, Congressman, sorry about that. You know, what strikes me, you know, these, these uh, white privilege warriors are all over the place saying you what Kodak Black went to jail for four years for some of the things Hunter Biden did for gun charges. Wesley Snipes went to jail for two and a half years for tax evasion things that were probably lesser than what Hunter Biden is accused of doing. Where's the white privilege now? Yeah, this is not justice. It is a perversion of justice to allow Hunter Biden to plead guilty to these tax charges is like akin to catching Jeffrey Dahmer and then letting him plead guilty to littering. The real crime here is not what Hunter Biden's pleading guilty to. You have someone who is engaged in corruption in selling influence to the highest echelons of the United States government. And that influence was sold to some of the most devious and dangerous people on planet Earth. And now they're getting him to plead guilty on tax charges. Imagine how insulting it is to the American people to say we caught these people covering up their illegal activities, selling out our country, holding like business meetings at the Chinese embassy and doing Lord knows what for that privilege. And then what they're really busted on is the tax liability on the bribe money. Give me a break. This stuff happens all too often in Washington, D.C. And you know the real reason we're coming to this conclusion? Because nobody at the Department of Justice thinks that they're going to make their career or get their promotion or get their new big title by bringing down the Bidens. And in fact, quite the opposite is true. They have set up specialized teams at the FBI and Department of Justice to take any information that's negative about the Bidens and try to characterize that as foreign disinformation when the reality is they are being protected by our government because they allow power to be centralized with corrupt figures here and abroad. You know, a couple of days ago, Trump tweeted on or truth on Truth Social that Watts are going to give him something small that he can, uh, you know, plead guilty to and, and, and be on his way. He's right. You're hitting on something important. And we've been talking about it. It's not the 100,000, 200,000, whatever he, he uh, uh, evaded taxes, not that, that amount. It's how much and where did that money come from that he owed taxes on, that he tried to evade on? Where did that come from? Where's the kind of the other end of that, that string? Yeah, imagine having a business that provides no services, that makes no products, but that merely functions as a pass-through for dirty Chinese money and foreign money to get into the bank accounts of your family members. And it's obvious what was for sale here. It was the Biden name that was for sale. And it was our country that was being exploited as a consequence. And these bribes weren't just paid for nothing. There were deliverable. When you pay a bribe, you expect a deliverable, right? Well, I mean, Joe Biden went and got prosecutors fired who were investigating the very people who may have been paying these bribes. And as it relates to China, where Hunter Biden had extensive financial ties, one of the first actions that Joe Biden took was eliminating the China and, uh, uh, initiative at the Department of Justice that went after the very influence peddling operations that the Biden family seems to have benefited off of. So you know, these we, are crazy times we're living in. The first family is compromised. And then what you see emerge from that compromise is the effort to deflect and uh, upcharge President Trump and to act as though some, some administrative dispute with the archivist is a series of felonies. I mean, give me a break. This is starting to look more like China than it is the United States as a consequence of decisions like this. Yeah, it's an insult to banana publics, really. Take a uh, control room, the shot montage of of the media saying this is all Russian. We'll take it. We'll dip out of it after a bit. But we'll listen to some of this. Biden secret emails. A really fishy story. The Post claimed that the emails were found on a laptop computer that was brought to a repair shop in Delaware in the spring of 2019. The FBI is now investigating whether those alleged Hunter Biden emails are actually connected to a larger foreign intelligence operation. They may be related to a foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence. Foreign intelligence operation. For all we know, these emails are made up. The information all right, we'll on come the back laptop out and, and, may you know, be part of All the, the covering and obfuscation by the mainstream media, leftist propaganda media, is turning out to be wrong. But when you give the guy a slap on the wrist, you're, what, what message are you sending to the next Hunter Biden? Uh, absolutely. It puts our country in jeopardy. I'm going to tell you two things that are very hard to believe. First, Brian Stelter is actually younger than I am. 
Second, the <laughs> CIA had people in their active employ that were engaged in election interference to try to get their, their uh, former employees to sign the very Hunter Biden disinformation letter that the media relied upon to engage in this coordinated election interference. Election interference doesn't happen through the media alone. There's big tech to service that interference, and in this case, the CIA itself not content to influence elections abroad, actually influencing the 2020 presidential election. And if we don't defund it, and if we don't defang some of these agencies, it will absolutely happen again in 2024. That's why the work of the Congress right now is so important to expose these lies, because yep. don't expect the Department of Justice to ever deliver justice. They're just trying to deliver well, we, politics. We hope, we, hope, we hope, Matt Gates, that you and Comer Stay on this. Keep pulling those threads on that sweater and see if we, we can unravel a lot more. Matt Gates, Congressman, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.